In a house, in a suburb, in a city, there was a man, his wife, daughter, and a kitty. They had a pool that was crystalline blue for the little girl and her playmates too. They had a maid and a trustworthy gardener, and security if there was to be any bother. They were warned by the wise old mother to not take anyone off the streets, to not bother. They subscribed to the neighborhood watch. Their safety remained in the neighbor's clutch. There was nothing to worry about, said the father. They can't get in. It's not us they're after. She worried, and to please her, he fitted electronic wire with watering hose to put out any accidental fire. Riots were suppressed, many burglaries carried on. The thoughts masked by burglar bars of which she was fond. The alarms often sounded, the fault of the cat, as well as the frogs, dogs, and the rat. Many houses were broken into again and again. No one insured them, not even then. Many people begged, but they didn't take them in. Even when they discarded bottles and went through their bin. But they tied up a friend of the maid. Take heed of my advice, the maid said, and they obeyed. They decided the walls should be higher to save them from the burglars and incessant fire. The wise old witch brought her granddaughter fairy tales that allowed the girl's mind to go off the rails. More robberies and intrusions again and again sounded. The little girl's cat's paws over the wall bounded. When the man, wife and kid took their dog for walks, they no longer saw the roses and lawn, only excessive security marks. Many times the family found themselves in front of iron grills with wooden boards of installation and the cost of the bills. The little girl and dog ran ahead as the parents contemplated. Which one do you want? he said. Placed against the walls, jagged serrated blades shone in the sun, causing bloody problems that wouldn't be much fun. The coils extended the parents' laughter as the parents, kit, dog and cat, lived happily ever after. From that day on, the cat slept on the girl's bed, while her mother read her a story filling her imaginative head. The next day, she was a prince, dragging a ladder to the wall. Over the coils, she tried desperately to crawl. Deeper and deeper into the razor teeth she screamed. The gardener and housemaid ran to the razor teeth that gleamed. The man and wife burst out of the house in alarm wails as they tore the little girl's body off of the bleeding rails.